we are in our week of prayer, yes. uh, day two, and we're talking about devoted living and what that really means. And so we're really honored to welcome back pastors Brendan and Sharon Witten, whose faith and vision have not only impacted Toronto City Church, but also the broader Christian community. Thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely. Thank you yeah. for having us. And so we're talking about devoted living, and one aspect of that is faith. And it's a word that a lot of us say, but maybe we don't really understand. So Sharon, what does faith mean to you? How has it changed your life? Yeah, it's definitely something that we have different opinions about and people kind of juggle with. It's really trusting God. It's really going on a journey of leaning on Him and really um, walking in obedience and surrender to Him, but really just leaning in and leaning on Him, for sure. How has it changed my life? I mean, it really, as I've trusted God and as I've walked in faith, um, I've had so many opportunities, circumstances, and situations that have opened up that would have never opened up had I not trusted God. Right. You know, he's led me beyond what I was able to do in my own life, right? So it's such a journey of adventure. There's a journey of risk involved in it, but it's really a journey where we get to experience the greatness of God, the awe, the wonder of God, the bigness of God when we trust in him and we lean in with faith and dependency on him. I love, I love that. that, yeah. How you can really embrace both what we see for us in our human perspective, it's risk. And yet we know it's the safest place to be is trusting God. And like you said, we get to see the awe and wonder of God. So Brendan, maybe you can share with us, like when you go through moments of doubt, how does that sort of maybe challenge your faith? Or what do you do when you feel like your faith is challenged? No, this is a really, really good question. I mean, I think first we have to understand. Sometimes we feel like, oh, if I'm going through a moment of doubt, I'm going through a moment of struggle, oh, something's wrong with me right. or something's wrong with my yeah. faith. Right. Right. And I think we've got to change our perspective mm-hmm. a little bit to understand, no, that's part of the journey of faith. Right. Yes. Like faith is actually what I choose to do even when I'm facing doubt or mm-hmm. even when I'm feeling mm-hmm. insecure or I don't know what to, that's actually the moment that I choose to believe God anyways. Right. That's the moment I choose to trust him anyway. So I think there's a certain degree of normalizing it and just saying, okay, it's not wrong with me. I'm not being a bad Christian. I'm not having bad faith right now. I'm walking through this challenge. I'm walking through the struggle. But then in the moment, it's saying, okay, but I'm going to choose to trust God anyways. I'm going to choose. And sometimes it's a moment by moment decision because the fear keeps coming. The doubt keeps coming. Right. But no, I'm going to choose to trust. I'm going to choose to trust God. I think it's staying really grounded in the word. Because mm-hmm. faith comes through the word. Mm-hmm. And I think it's making sure you get good support around you. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'm struggling. She'll help pull me up. <laughs> yeah. she'll, she'll challenge me or encourage me and vice versa. Right. So I think having people of faith around you helps you and you help each other in those different times and seasons. Yeah, well, I think you make a really good point because I think a lot of times we are tempted to see the circumstance yeah. instead of the character of God. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of people think faith is just this blind leap, mm-hmm. uh, you know, risking without any thought, but it's not. It's actually trusting in the character and nature of God, which is constant. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So like Emily said, it's the safest place to be. And I love how you brought it out. It's, it's stepping into the best that God has for you. And so I, I love those definitions of faith. Yeah, so Brenda, maybe for anybody watching here who's maybe struggling to mm-hmm. trust God, can you pray for them and just uh, that God would empower them in this moment? Oh, for sure. I'd be glad to. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for uh, this today. We thank you for this episode, God, and all the different things we're going to be talking about in faith and trusting you, uh, even when it's hard. And so I pray that every person tuning in and watching today, if there's an area of doubt, if there's an area they're struggling to trust you today, they're going to be encouraged They're going to be built up and strengthened in their faith. And they're going to make that choice to trust you even now. They're going to choose trust and they're going to choose faith. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, I love that idea. You believe in God and doubt is actually a part of that. Because I think it's actually in overcoming your doubt that you actually learn to trust even more, right? When you're a child and you jump into your parents' arms, you know they're going to catch me because they've caught me in the past. Yeah. I love that. Oh, 100%.